Now available are half inch tape VHS video cassette recorders and here is an example of a table model. And now, in 1983, Corelli has purchased from the fate funds of last year a national VHS portable VCR camera and some accessories. This truly compact and lightweight video cassette recorder is the result of such developments as simplified construction, the reduction in size of various mechanical parts and the use of ICs. Up to three hours recording is possible with a three hour tape. In addition to playback at normal speed you can operate multi-motion playback such as cue and review, still frame, slow and frame advance. The recorder eliminates the editing problem common to ordinary VCRs. When the pause is used during recording, the tape will automatically rewind slightly to reduce this break to a minimum of interference. The recorder enables you to substitute your desired picture for a previously recorded tape at any segment, known as insert recording. There are important precautions to observe when using this equipment. If the recorder is suddenly moved from a cold place to a warm place, moisture may form on the tape and inside the recorder. In this case, the moist indicator will flash on and off and the power will shut off automatically. Avoid places where there is high humidity or dust, which may cause damage to internal parts. Use the recorder and adapter side by side. Do not place anything heavy on the recorder. Placing the video re cassette recorder on a TV set may have an ad adverse effect on the picture or sound during tape playback. Keep the unit away from extreme direct heat such as direct sunlight, heat radiators or closed cars. If lightning occurs while recording outdoors, particularly in a wide open field, stop recording immediately. Keep the unit away from flower vases, tubs, sinks and water. If liquid should be spilled into the unit, serious damage could occur. Wipe the unit with a clean dry cloth. Never use cleaning fluid or other chemicals. Do not use spray, cleaner or wax directly to the unit or use forced air to remove dust. It is dangerous and may cause damage to touch the internal parts of the unit. Do not attempt to disassemble the unit. There are no user serv serviceable parts inside. The recorder and AC adapter are set up as shown. Take out of the suitcase, take the power plug from the AC adapter and place into a power point or extension lead. Connect the AC adapter cable to the adapter terminal of the recorder. Connect RF out terminal to the VCR on the AC adapter for playback or for watching TV using the RF cable. The RF cable is the normal antenna lead on the television set. Once this terminal is connected to the television set, the television is tuned to channel O for broadcasting from the recorder. Switch the AC adapter to operate and switch the recorder on.
The video cassette recorder is turned on. The cassette holder at the top is ejected by the eject button and the top unit will lift so the cassette can be put in. The cassette can only be put in one way. The stop button. Press this button to stop the tape. Play. Press this button to play back recorded tapes. The fast forward or cue button. Press this button to move the tape forward rapidly. During the play mode, pressing this button will allow you to view the tape in the forward direction at about five times the recorded tape speed. The rewind or review button. Press this button to re rewind tapes. During the play mode, pressing this button will allow you to view the tape in reverse at about five times the recorded tape speed. The pause still button. Press this button to temporarily stop the tape movement in either the recording or playback mode. During playback a still frame picture is produced when the pause is in use. Press again to release pause. This slow button is pressed for slow motion playback of tapes recorded. Do not use the pause or slow button for extended periods. The tape counter. By beginning the recording at zero, subsequent playback will be more convenient. Press the reset to zero the tape counter and press the memory indicator so when rewinding the tape will stop at zero. Recording is started by pressing this button and the play button at the same time. The audio dub button. When this button is pressed simultaneously with the play button during playback, sound from another source can be recorded on the tape in place of the original sound. The original sound will be erased. This is the camera remote switch. When camera recording, this switch must be set to remote. Set it to normal at other times. The wired remote control unit. This control unit is provided with the portable recorder, allowing you to operate the recorder from as far away as 5 metres. Simply plug the control unit cable connector into the remote control terminal on the recorder. Make sure that the power switch on both the power source and recorder are on before operating the remote control unit. All operations may be done from this unit, including stop, slow, either increase the slow motion or decrease the slow motion pause rewind cue and stop When the pause button is used, to release the pause it must be pressed again. When the slow button is used, the play button must be pressed to bring back normal speed. All the connections are on the side panel. 
The first is the RF output connector for connection to a TV by the antenna lead. The next is the adapter terminal. This can be used to connect the recorder to the AC adapter with a single connection. Next is the camera input terminal for connection of a portable video camera. The video input connector is used for connection from another VCR. The video out connector is for a connection to a monitor TV or another VCR. The audio output or earphone jack for connection to a monitor TV, another VCR, audio tape recorder or earphone. For connecting an audio input attenuator, this is useful for recording and audio dubbing. This is how the unit is set up for recording out video and audio signals. The microphone jack to plug in a microphone. This is the tracking control. Use this control during playback if the image is partially obscured by bands of noise. It is normally in the centre fixed position. The slow tracking control is on the front. This is used when noise appears on the picture during slow, still picture or frame by frame playback operations. It also is normally in the centre fixed position. The unit can be used with the camera outdoors by a battery pack. The battery pack fits in the bottom of the cassette recorder. It must always be fully charged when being used. It can be ejected by pressing the eject button. There are two batteries available with the unit. Each battery gives approximately two hours filming time. The battery pack is charged in the AC adapter. It fits in the front of the adapter and when placed in the adapter can be switched to operate and the charge light be fully charged. A new soundtrack can be put onto the tape by using audio dubbing. The microphone is inserted into the microphone jack and the audio dub and play button are pressed simultaneously. Two video recorders can be connected together to copy and edit tapes made with the camera.